Well, good day everyone. Hope you're all doing fine and uh, hail and hearty. Here we are with uh, another ride along with goggles and we've got the Pinga uh, Arctic log trailer here with a pup and uh, some mighty big logs. And we're, we're up in Merritt, BC, uh, British Columbia. And we're going to take these over to Braylorn, BC, which is a nice little drive through some mountainous terrain. And uh, we've got the uh, MTG 281 slash 351 here. Uh, got a Detroit 60 in it, which I guess would be retrofitted. <laughs> and uh, got our old uh, vintage tires on here, the uh, 22.5. Uh, those are... What are they? Express or something like that. And the super lugs on the back. And uh, without further ado, we'll get going. This is a skin I've been messing around with for, geez, better Turn part right. of a day and a bit. After 50 bit yards, of a pain in the neck uh, trying to skin this thing, but I'm giving it a go anyway. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get on with it. She wanted us to do get that away. Turn right. Turn right. Oh, you're gonna have to hold on a minute there, sport. Go straight. Um, since I drove this truck last with you guys, uh, I got the um, real Eaton Fuller transmission mod configured for this truck too now, so I can hear the, I guess the movement of their left. clicks of the gear, sh gear shift. Yards, turn left. I think the last time we were in it, I had the Viper tranny in here in the 360. Turn left. And it doesn't do that. Oh, bit of a hiccup there. Kind of turn on my frame rate counter. Hang on. Reach over here. Sorry about that. After 100 yards, turn left. Turn left. A friend of mine customized right. one of those pretty heavily, well, not heavily, you'd have to look at it to notice, but he put a, it was a two-door, but he made a longer front door and set the door jam back and put a sloped pillar in, so it's like a Nomad, so it looks like a 60, I think it's a 65, a uh, Chevy 2 Wagon Nomad, and it's really, it's nicely done. And uh, a really cute little car. Yeah, because even by default, uh, the little Chevy two two door wagon, it's got a really short door, or not very wide. But uh, yeah, it's really nice work. A lot of, a lot of work. It wasn't. Uh, he didn't do it overnight. That's for sure. Got a nice result out of it.
way you had this route. <laughs> the uh, there's a right turn at Cache Creek. I think we're going to have to take. That's going to be ugly if the traffic doesn't cooperate. It's like a 120 degree turn, and it's narrow. And on the inside, there's I think there's a lamp post and trees. We'll see when we get there, but. Oh well. Wow. Oh. Not enough traction or this is my medium heavy haul motor in here. Uh Z Mods DD60 once again modified. up again. I got my camera, I can't see the truck. There we go. Keep right. After 50 yards, go straight. Go straight. Yeah, this is a properly hot part of BC here. We're just in right here see the fairly sparse vegetation up here and uh, it's a real cookery here in the summer there's areas in here almost like a you know desert like it's pretty strange string I was on, its last hole before I got on it was here at Cache Creek somewhere. And uh, so I remember 
you know, all of the, oh, the boxes, you know, like a drilling rig is meant to be packed up and moved, and uh, it's kind of like a military type operation, and all of the boxes and everything that's containerized and all of the fittings and whatnot, just everything had grease paint on it, cash creek this, Keep cash creek right. that. After <laughs> it's pretty hard to forget. Right. So here's that nasty corner. I'm going to have to look right. here and make sure this guy doesn't sneak up the inside. Let's see, what's he going to do? Yeah, uh, am I just going to go? Nope. Crap. I'll have to let these guys go. Because there's really no way to make this corner any other way. You can see the dilemma here. That tree there and... See how this semi is, his log load does. Quite often the AI trailers cheat and the back end will swing a bit. Well, yeah, that followed a proper track. Well, how many of these guys we got here? Car show. Oh, there's a what, 74 Oldsmobile and a Roadrunner a GTX. I wonder if it has an insignia on it. If it's a GTX. That sign. Oh, just went right through, no collision. It's nice. at uh, GMC General again. That uh, mod maker Smarty, apparently he's working on one. It's been a long time in the works. He's got, you know, Smarty's wheel pack and he did the uh, Scott yards, truck. Turn left. Turn also left. the Trailmobile 90 trailer. Skin for. Also did I did an old school skin for that Scott as well. I gotta move on the. Uh, I'm gonna be getting a hurry up. Oh, what's pulling this? It's got a paint job on it. Peterbilt. So I'm sorry. Yeah, the vintage truck mod once again. Bad play there. sure the dispatcher is going to be chirping at me uh, before we get to the end of this load, this run, because all these corners. Don't want to tip this thing over. Once again, I, I run the trailer and truck a, a little bit soft. And uh, 
sort of adds to the realism, like you can't drive them like a go-kart. first got this uh, game, I, it took me a while to wean myself off that inside mirror thing. I kind of used to having it up on the, above the visors there. I kind of like not having it. It always kind of bugged me a bit that Unless you had a backup camera in your modern truck, it was not very authentic. I wonder if that's the site of future development in the next Pro Mods. I think that's... Uh, I got the idea that... Uh, I can't remember where... That, that bit in Wyoming when you're going up towards... Uh, through Yellowstone... Jackson up there... That's going to get developed... There's a construction zone for quite a while. And I think when they introduce Montana... That's going to be the interchange and route into Montana. And they're just modeling it as a construction zone now. That's kind of cool. We'll see if that comes to pass. After 100 yards, turn right. Got a real uh, interesting uh, right hand turn coming up here across the bridge. Turn right. A right and a left, actually. Uh, right, yeah, it's uh, S turn. After 100 yards, turn right. There's a train. coming down the hill here. Looks like he is. The trailer's just off the road there. After 100 yards, turn right. Turn right. Yeah, the biggest thing in adjusting to not having those inside mirrors was uh, situations just like that where you're going around a corner and you want to see the trailer. And you'd be so used to having your fo focus forward and just having to lift your eyes up a bit to see the trailer. After 100 and then yards, turn left. having to adjust to take your view right off, your, eye, your focus right off the forward turn view. Turn left. was the biggest sort of thing to get used to. And in this sort of 2D world of the game, I think it's harder than in real life by, uh, by a fair bit. Actually, in my view, these trucks are easier to drive in real life than they are in the game. You have a Number one, you've got sensory input all over the place, your seat of your pants, and 
proper vibration and yards, turn right. uh, your spatial awareness is more, well, it's more real. Turn right. You're able to keep track of things a little better. So I find a lot of times in the game I'm kind of wondering, well, what the heck is going on around me? And uh, it's not as bad as it was when I first started. I thought, my God, this After is 100 yards, a little weird. Left. On that cliff face over there, and this is one interesting road. Probably going to want to jump out to see what's going on, but like I know I've done it with a turnpike double without getting out and looking, but it's kind of interesting to see. At first, I was kind of alarmed by the road, but there's these big boulders in it and stuff you'll see, but they're not collision zones, you can just run over them. So, when I once I realized that the drama was out of it. But this is quite a view here. Too bad it's kind of gloomy. This truck doesn't quite have the traction to pull off this, uh, this engine. Let's have a look here. Yeah, we're doing fine. So this on the right is definitely a collision zone. <laughs> you don't want to be running into that stuff. But these black boulders up here on the other side of the road aren't like this one. Watch, I'll run over it. Nothing. Once I realized that, this isn't so scary. See, you can just run them over. There's these ones up here that used to bug me. Oh, holy. Kind of little, was he got a Datsun 510 or a fair lady? You're gonna get to the front of your car, Ben, buddy. Yeah, there he goes. Fight with a bull, you get the horn. There we go. Yards, so turn left. Turn left. Now we're not done with the hairpin turns here yet. I wonder if this guy's following us down here. Should have a look. Oh boy. Uh, Is he going to go for it again? No. Because there's nobody coming up. this guy. It's going to be tight. Ah, we're good. Pretty interesting road over there, across this dam and up the mountain. Probably had, I think, two loads up there ever. Oh, I shouldn't be driving all over the road like this. This guy's gonna. Oh, he's back there. Worried about.
of them going up the inside and me cutting them off. Oh, what's going on here? We got four minutes and 56 miles left. Lost trying to get out of the cab. Sorry to say. I see the load wobbling around like this. And I kind of lose my focus. I get back in here and ignore it. The other thing too, when I get out, out of the cab, I uh, I end up going faster and I think I'm going. And you jump in and you go, holy cow. car that's for anybody who doesn't know that's a precursor of Nissan Got to hurry up yet? That's good. Glad to have my uh, the real G27 mod running on the G uh, Logitech wheel. It takes all of that sh ridiculous shaking out of the wheel. And, uh, you, know, you just get the few nudges here and there, like you know, a little bump. You can see the wheel move a little bit in the truck here. My that's all my wheels moving. It's not vibrating all over the place. I mean, if real life, if your truck was doing that, <laughs> you'd be into the shop for a repair, you know, get that front end checked out. Because these things are pretty uh, massive steering box and power steering, and it doesn't, you don't get a lot of kickback on the wheel. Because, uh, I mean, it's got a huge gear reduction, and the road inputs are coming in the opposite direction of that gear reduction. They don't get a chance to impart much through to you, and uh, yeah, it's way overdone in the game. And the, and the idea that engine vibration at idle and stuff making your wheel move—wow, crazy! I don't know what who these guys consult with about the physics of the game, but some of it. Uh, Obviously, not with uh, somebody who's been around the block or a time or two. But, it is 
the game, and this uh, G27 mod sharpens it right up. us off on the right here. As usual, I'll swing out here just in case. You have reached your destination. Oh, maybe. Almost. <laughs> Sorry, sweetie. There we go. Let's see. Yeah, I'm just here on the right. Now, this should be fairly straightforward from here. Oh, missed my shift. That's all going to come around there just fine. We'll know soon enough. Oh, maybe not. Better have a look. Yeah, it didn't didn't make it in. Well, that's a poser. Let's see, we want that to go that way, so we have to get this to go that way. We can do that. Might go get that trailer over there. Oh no. Try and straighten it out. Okay, so, I want that to go that way, that went that way, that goes that way, that's the wrong way, you want it this way. That's the way we want it to go. Now we got it too much. But, if we do this one more time, we're going to have it in the zone. Just wanted to straighten out a bit here. I will give it a little bit of the other way. Try and catch up to that. Uh oh. Go this way. That goes that way. That goes. No, it's I keep. Uh, I'm one maneuver behind in my thinking here. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to skip this. That's the alternative. Can't go all the way around, that won't work. But we're not late yet, so we might have to. Let's see. not going to get it. Okay, well, alternative. Ooh, that's awful tight. How close are we to jackknifing that trailer? Uh, how far can we take it before we run out of uh, there? If we can't get this thing all the way around the road here, we're going to have to skip the parking which is really something I don't want to do. So we can't get this thing around the get this thing around the site and figure out what to do. Oh man, 
cars. You always have all manner of things parked in the way to uh, keep you honest. So we'll go back out. I'll turn around, come back in, try that again. Because we don't want to take the easy way out. Or are we going to find the 40 acres to turn this rig around though? This thing turns surprisingly good though. Stumps all over the in the way here. Oh, that intersection down there. Yeah, there was a fork in the road. That's what we got aim for. So far out into the ditch I can get here. And now it's raining. effects here. Alright. This is where we can turn around. We're going to take a stab or two at it here. Give me 40 acres and I'll turn this rig around. The easiest way that I've found. <laughs> yeah. Couldn't carry a tune in a bucket, so sorry about that, folks. Yeah, I said, no, trailer turns really nice. Alright, take two. Oh, jeez. Just missed those stumps. Alright, now I'm getting to hurry up. Okay, we gotta do it this time. that delay after the uh, lightning strike. It's good. I guess we just need to go a little wider out this time. Get that pop in there. I ought to do it. We're just going to be getting the back end of the big trailer in there. Not running into everything on the site. There we go. Oh, that was an adventure. Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> it took you all around the block and made you late for bed or whatever you're doing. Anyway, there we are. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. It's, uh, it's an enjoyable combination. I really like driving this, so. Neat old truck, nice trailer, interesting load, great scenery, what's not to like. Anyway, take care guys, uh, thanks for riding along and we'll talk to you again, bye for now.